Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, so we got <clears throat> new Canelo news. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. So, um, probably wondering what's the news right now. Obviously, we know that he rekindled the flame. We're talking about uh, finishing his contract with the Premier Boxing Champions. So basically, um, they gonna do the they want to do the Mangia fight in May, Cinco de Mayo weekend. I think they still got enough time. But um, uh, you know they still kind of sticking point according to Chris Minix is Jamal Charlo. So he'll fight Mangia in May. He still want to fight Jamal Charlo in September. Now, if you haven't seen uh, some of the videos, man, the uh. The aim, the original deal was Jamil, Arrow, Jamal. Now, from what I'm hearing from behind the scenes, is that he still was willing to fight Arrow. He wanted to fight the people that was in the contract. So he still wanted to fight Arrow to give y'all a brief recap. He still wanted to fight Arrow regardless of what happened. In the Crawford fight, he wanted to fight the original three guys that was in the contract. No, it didn't include an Errol and Terrence winner. No, it didn't include David Benavidez. So, um, so now, right now, they still arguing over Jamal Charlo. Now, the zone, what happened with them, how he leveraged in PBC against the zone and the zone against PBC. When he went to the zone, he wanted to fight Egner Berlanga in May for Cinco de Mayo. And in September, which I don't think he was going to be able to do it regardless because the UFC, let's say it was going head up with the UFC, then it, they could because the UFC is on ESPN paper, plus pay-per-view. The zone is on regular pay-per-view. So I don't think UFC uses uh, pay-per-view.com or satellite companies to push pay-per-views. So the zone can do that. They will use the cable companies as well so it, it could have happened because they both don't use the cable companies or satellite companies to push it so so you know they wanted to do berlanga in may and september Mongia. now apparently that's what canelo wanted and they like no nah, we want to do berlanga in may i mean we, we don't want berlanga we want Mongia in may and i guess probably i'm just guessing here i'm guessing if he was saying I'm willing to do Mangia on his own, then it wasn't as much money as PBC had. It wasn't as much money as PBC was offering for Mangia, which is 35 million. Now hold on. Now, if that was the case, or it might have been the case of no, I want Berlanga. If I want to fight Mangia, I can go to PBC. So I don't really know what it was. You gotta highlight somebody close to that situation, but uh, right now, Chris Minix is reporting that the sticking point is still the Jamal Charlo fight. So I don't know what other opponent they trying to finish that three fight deal out with. If it's not Jamal Charlo, you know, I don't know. You know, it's not going to be David Benavidez. Um, he has disqualified Terrence Crawford as a possible opponent. And the rumor was that that Earl Spence fight was going to be at 160 something. So, and maybe that was just put out there and publicly Spence was going to go up to super middleweight. I don't know, but, um, this is foolish. PBC need to stand pat. The zone need to stand pat and say, look here, man. Hey, this is what we got for you. You can take it or leave it. Go somewhere else. Bobby, I ain't the pop about to pay him that much money. There's rumors that they're in the process of selling. So we know that, but you know, also an option for Canelo is a reduced purse to fight Jamal Charlo. Now, he took a reduced purse to fight John Ryder. Not a problem to fight at home. The problem with the reduced purse is this. He said that, now they said, this is what they're reporting. No, box reporters are reporting this. They're saying that Canelo Alvarez had agreed to a list of opponents, Jamel, Errol, Jamal, 
and it already has specified purses already agreed for in the contract. So you get this amount of money for fighting Jamal, this amount of money for fighting Errol Spence, this amount of money for fighting Jamal, or you know whatever, however. So they was he already had a dollar amount, so he already spent the money in his head. This is what, he, what he's fighting. So funny that they didn't write it in the contract. If Crawford win, you can just put Crawford in there for for a different purse or the same purse or or a prorated purse. They didn't do that because he never had any intentions on fighting Terrence Crawford, and he never had any intentions on fighting Errol, uh, fighting David Benavidez. So at the end of the day, if PBC say nah. This is what we got. Take it or leave it. And the zone said, what else he going to do? If he retired, fuck him. But he's starting to look real bad. He's starting to look real bad right now. That Berlanga was the one that nobody really could defend. And we've seen in boxing, these dudes defend some of the most heinous things in boxing. We've seen that. But the Berlanga, excuse me, the Berlanga thing, they couldn't defend that no more. They couldn't defend Berlanga no more. They couldn't defend that no more. So, like I said before, when boxing has spoiled you and you can do what you want to do, he going to get his way. And right now, they know Jamar Charlo fight is going to take a loss. They're not even sure the Munguia fight is going to turn They're going to turn a, a, a profit. So, like I said before, if they sucking all the money for him to fight on Prime, and that's another thing I wanted to point out too. With dog fighting on Prime... Who gonna tune into that shit? Who gonna even know what it how to how to get it? Are they gonna use the pay per view companies to help push the broadcast and market the fight? Are we going to go through Amazon Prime? Do you have to have a Prime membership? We don't even know how the fuck it it, it works. Anybody know how it works? Have anybody seen an infomercial or two in the morning about uh, Thurman and Zoo? Are we gonna be able to order the pay per view through just, uh, exclusively through Prime? Are we gonna be able to order the pay per view? Through cable companies as well too, pay-per-view.com, Xfinity, Spectrum, whatever it may be. That's the question. Direct TV. So we less than 30 days to Spence and Crawford. I mean uh Zoo and Thurman. Anybody know how you can order the pay-per-view? I've been on Prime since then. I haven't seen anything on Prime's network because I watch Invincible on there. I watch some movies on there. Invincible's a great TV show. So do we see anything over there? Anything to show how, how we can order the pay-per-view? This is just some this is just some nigga shit right here. And shout out to my boy Ohio Runs Boxing. He was showing all the top pay-per-views. The majority, I think all of them, top 10. Or majority all had Bob Barron and Al Heyman involved in them on Instagram. Shout out to Ohio Run, Run Boxing Marcus. But one thing I'm going to say, Marcus, man, them some hustling motherfuckers, man. They, they a hustle. It's not a business. What they doing is not sustainable, bro. That's why Don King is sustained. And that's why Al Heyman is sustained. No matter if it's a Harvard degree or it's a degree in the, P, in the, pen, in the penitentiary. What they doing is just, is just is straight robbery. They business practices. It's not their hustle practices. What, what, what Al and Bob and Al and they both from Cleveland, ain't they? Uh, what Alan Don is doing is a hustle. It's not a business. It's not a business. Ain't nothing wrong with having a hustle, but on this level, you should have a business structure and a business plan. Like Barry Gordy had at Motown. They had a business structure. They, had, they treat it like a symbol line. If they didn't get past this part, the song will go out, go back and rework it, go back and rewrite it, do the beat over, do a different song, scrap it. They don't have no business practice. This shit just, this on the humbug. It's like pick them up, mess them up. You know what I'm saying? They probably, I'll probably call it something different. We I just throw the football up and whoever got it run, he get tackled and you know, all this shit is free for all. But like I said before, I mean, you willing to lose, you can lose money on both them fights. And at the end of the day, in my opinion, PBC on Prime is doomed. It's doomed. Not Doom like the movie. It's Doomed like the other movie. Remember Doom? They had Doom 64. It's Doom. These dudes are willing to lose money on on this on, this, on these fights. I know I won't be supporting either one of them, to be honest. Be real with you. I want that shit to fail. 
Hell yeah, I want I want this shit to fail. You ain't see me watching the Clarissa Shields. You ain't see me cover that shit. They had some fights last weekend. I ain't covering that shit neither. Man, shout out to Raymond Ford for getting a win, but hell no. Nah. If that shit don't move the needle, I ain't wasting my time with it. I cover AJ and Berlanga though this week. I, I mean AJ and Berlanga. <laughs> AJ and Nganu. I fuck with Nganu. And fuck AJ. I'm pulling for Nganu though. Hope I'm gonna hope I'm gonna knock AJ's jaw off his face. He's like, why you don't like AJ? Man, if I gotta say why well, I ain't like AJ, it ain't got nothing to do with Wilder per se. But yeah, you know, I gotta explain that. Go ahead, man. The nigga is the Russell Wilson of, bo- of heavyweight boxing. Yeah, I said it. But uh but yeah, he let Canelo do what he wanna do. We know he is. No he is. I won't be supporting it. Now a lot of y'all out here, y'all still gonna support it. I know y'all. I know y'all. Y'all still gonna watch it. You know, y'all still gonna give it a dead time. And I think the Mungia fight's a great fight, by the way. But I just can't justify sucking shit, man. Sorry. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications. Increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Kick the whole nine. Peace.